Hello guys, well a lot of people here. Does having OCD mean that I'm crazy? Absolutely not. What we know about OCD is that obsessive compulsive disorder is a neurological brain-driven condition that studies have shown to affect different neurotransmitters and different regions of the brain. Now what we do know is that OCD has genetic underpinnings. So that means it could run in families. Also, we know that OCD could be caused by environmental factors such as traumatic events, chronic stress exposure, or it could be a combination of both. It could be because of a particular genetic factor that has presented some kind of vulnerability. Then on top of that, we have a whole bunch of issues, uh, negative life events and traumatic events that might allow your gene to express itself in a certain way. But what is important to understand is that you are not crazy for having OCD. It's a brain-driven condition that studies have shown that you should not blame it on character flaws or a weakness of personality or your inability to regulate your internal state. The first thing, self-compassion is important. Regardless of how bizarre your OCD is, it's because the brain has been, has been rewired in a certain way and that is why you cannot stop behaving that way. So the first thing is to learn to be on your own side, to learn self-compassion, self-kindness. That is the platform that you're going to build all the recovery interventions, interventions upon. Now the second thing is to understand that you might need to take the edge off. To take the edge of your anxiety, your, the anxiety behind your OCD by increasing your serotonin levels. Studies have shown that serotonin is one of the neurotransmitters that uh, has been found to be dysregulated. So that means if you have low serotonin levels, you are more likely to be obsessed with sadness or to have an obsession tendency, allowing the lower brain structures, the primitive brains, the survival brains uh, involved in primitive drives and irrational and bizarre thinking to dominate. Usually the outer layer of the brain, which is the cortex, is supposed to inhibit the workings, the operations of, of the two primitive brains. So studies are showing us that some of the bizarre thinking that you could not explain with log logic and bizarre urges and, and images of OCD must have been escaped through the filtering system that is supposed to inhibit them away from the prefrontal cortex, your sense of awareness. And the neurotransmitter that modulates that is serotonin. So regular exercise, for instance, can increase the serotonin level. And also you might want to consider serotonin supplements or uh, even medication to ease the anxiety, to ease off the urge for your compulsion and your obsession. Then you can now focus on therapy, processing emotions, and focus on uh, activities such as reducing your gratification to complete your urges. If you can delay for five minutes, for 15 minutes, that is powerful, that can start to change the neurophysiological process of your brain and your emotions. Don't always complete the exact time or period that your OCD wants you to complete your urges and delay and delay and delay and channel your energy for something positive, something motivational, something that could increase serotonin, like walking, like meditation, like exercise, like do, do fun things, like, you know, you, know, you can, can complete puzzles and, and watch your favorite music, watch your favorite TV program rather, and just do something that diverts the energy and the, the severity of your urge to complete. The longer you can postpone on a daily basis, the better 
we forget to get brain wiring and do this for at least nine months, sorry, 90 days, uh, three months, you start to see big changes in your ability to be in control of your OCD. If you want to know more, we have a course and a webinar that you could join anywhere in the world on our, our website, www.mindbodybreakthrough.com, sorry, .net, mindbodybreakthrough.net www.mindbodybreakthrough.net and we have a, a, a fabulous uh, amount of resources that could help you deeper into the subject if you're a practitioner you want to know more or you're a parent your adoptive parent come on the course it'll be fantastic to see you there thank you well a lot of people like this share it and hopefully i'll see you soon in the future bye bye